All right, in this lecture, we want to talk about IK and FK options on the rig. By default, you're going to have an IK spine. So you can see the IK settings by clicking on these orange tabs. And the orange tabs are going to represent all IK settings. So you can see here, if I select these, you're going to have an IK spine. And you can rotate and translate him with the IK controls. And He's going to also have IK shoulders by default, and he's going to be in the world space, which means his hands are going to stay in place and his legs are also going to stay in place by default. So if you want to switch over the controls, there's a couple ways to do it. There is a mannequin setting in the outliner and you can go ahead and you can change some of the options through the, the menu there. So you can go ahead and change his leg to FK by making these settings in the actual mannequin rig settings in the outliner. So if you'd like to change the arms, for example, to FK mode, you can go ahead and select these arms and you can select arm FK mode and the blue controllers will now control his FK arm and you won't have any access to his IK controls any longer because his arm is an FK. You can also do the same for his shoulders. You can right click the shoulder and change that to FK. It could be clavicle FK and then you're going to be able to rotate his shoulder control with the FK controllers. Now if you want to leave the shoulders in IK you can still do that. Some people want to be able to uh, rotate and they rotate the arms with FK and have the shoulders with IK. So that has the flexibility to do that. The spine as, as well can be switched to FK mode. So this is what I recommend to basically get a more natural pose with the character if you're using an FK spine. If you're having any problem switching the leg, you can always go into the rig settings, go into FK mode here, and you can always rotate the leg with the blue controllers here which represent your FK settings. There are some settings as well for the fingers. If you're going to have some IK fingers on a table or something like that, it also has those options. And there's also an option which is very useful for the head. You can do a space switching on the head. You can orient it for the world. And basically what that'll do is it'll keep the head always looking forward at all times so you don't have to counter animate those uh, those head controllers when you're animating the body. So some very nice flexibility with these options through the GUI here. One other note I'd like to make is you can also do the same for IK arms. So if you have your character in IK mode, which I do on this uh, arm over here, on his right arm, you can also set this to body space. So if you have his a arm on a IK, for example, right now it's default and default pretty much works like it's in world. So as you can recall earlier, that hand is going to stay in place with the space switching. You can put it to body space and it's going to actually follow the root of the, the character. So you can see it's still in IK. You can still move it around and you can still animate it with IK, but instead of the arm staying in place, it will move with the character. So you kind of get the best of both worlds animating in both uh, IK with that flexibility of it following the body with FK. So it prevents some of that extra uh, back and forth that you might have to do with animating three controllers with FK. Now if you noticed his elbow kind of stays in place because the elbow control is also set to world. So if you change that to body space, now the character can basically be translated just like he was in full FK like this left arm is and his arm will follow the root. Um, one nice thing about it is that it, since it's in body space, that arm will stay in place even if you are animating the torso. So you can see on the right arm it stays in place. So you can still do some upper body adjustments if you've already kind of changed your character into a position and you just want to adjust the upper body, you still have that flexibility and that arm's going to stay in place. So a lot of flexibility with this character based on how you have the settings and that's kind of a quick overview on how you can switch through the different spaces. It's very nice that you have the rig settings as well here.
that you can go in and manually adjust these in case your GUI is not working or you just want to actually just have a visualization of what is on and what is off. You can go ahead and do that in the outliner with this uh, picker right here. I also wanted to just make a note that then these additional sections are available on the Unreal Animation Tools website. You can see more documentation about some other IK settings. You can see how you can do some IKFK matching. You can see uh, other possibilities with these finger controls as I mentioned. So make sure that you take a look at the documentation as well so that you have an uh, idea of what's possible with this character. But with that, that should give you a very good overview of how to set up your character for any IK or FK settings that you prefer to work with as you're animating the character. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.